Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be looking at a McAllister 4-in-1 ladder. So I've just got back from Screwfix where I picked these up. I uh, paid £106.99 which may seem a little bit steep but it's a 4-in-1 ladder um, so you definitely get your value for your money there. Great reviews if you want to check them out. I can put a link in the description for the ladder itself. So pick them up from store. As you can see it's nice and compact. This is sat on a worktop here. Um, I was able to fit this straight in the boot of my car, not a van, um, not a big car, just a little hatchback. No issues at all, straight in, straight out. So now we're going to have a bit of a closer look at some of the features of the ladder itself. Right, so some of the key features, it says here it's 4x3. That means it's four lots of three rungs, each of them separated with some locking mechanisms. So that's how you can adjust the ladder to use it how you need. Uh, like I say, step ladder as normal, or we can use it as a platform. The one good thing about the platform is it's included in the ladder and it's also actually compact in the ladders itself. So there's no need to buy one and there's no need to carry it around separately. You just pick it up and you go. Often, if you know you're not going to be using it, so you can leave it around, that might take a little bit of weight off because they weigh 16.6 kilograms, which for the size of the ladders, it's not too bad, but you still might find it a little bit heavy. So you could always get yourself a little trolley, wheel them to where you need them if you need to, if you've got a long walk. Um, they are made out of aluminium. So the height then, 3.72 metres. That's not the height of the ladder though. That is the working height, so that's head height. The actual height of the ladders themselves is 3.17 metres. What I will do, I'll take a picture of all these individually and upload them so you can see them a little bit better. Like the platform here we've got it's 0.3 meters wide by 1.4 meters long so it's a very very decent workspace um, whether you're walking along it using it to cut wood on or just want a little sit down ladders themselves when they're compact measure in at about 36 centimeters wide top to bottom we're looking at 88 centimeters and about 27 centimeters for the depth so like i say nice and compact they did fit in my boot they probably fit in your footwell of the car if you've already got things in the boot um, and you can carry them around like this with the platform in so what we're going to do now open them up and have a look at the ladders in the different positions Right, so we've undone the ladders, they're out of the packaging now. So put the platforms back in. As you can see, they do sit a little bit higher. I'm going to take these out. That's basically because when you buy them, as it comes from the store, they're actually cable tied to the ladder. Um, they need to sit a little bit higher because basically there's two little hooks. I'll show you. As you can see, the hooks, they hook over the rungs. That's what keeps them in place. Um, if you put them any lower, it'll be dragging on the floor. So that's why it looks a little bit higher than it did in the package. So already take that into consideration. Next thing to take into consideration once you're using them is the feet. Um, you don't have to use the feet, but I would definitely recommend that you do. So two things, you can either undo them every time you want to transport them or I think you'll still be able to get them in most vehicles, to be honest, especially in the footwell, so bear that in mind. So next thing I want to quickly point out is, in my opinion, a little bit of a design flaw, should we say. It's not a fault with the ladder, they'll all do it. Um, carrying them around like this, if you pick it up, try and show you. I'd say there's four rungs across the top. If you grab the third one, a third away from you, you're good to go. Up, no problem. If you grab the second one or the first, and it starts to lean out, especially once you've had a bit more use, you'll get to this position, and from there, it's locked. You can't pull it back in. Um, obviously, you don't want to be carrying your ladders around like that. So it's a little bit unfortunate. So just bear that in mind. What you could do, what I'm going to do, is buy a little bit of Velcro and kind of wrap it around just so they don't do that as I'm transporting them. But always try and remember, Grab the third one. So. Right, for the next part of the video, um, I've not got my mic attached, so 
I'll try my best to make sure you can hear me. It just doesn't reach that far for you to be able to see what I'm doing and to hear me properly as well. But I thought a visual would be a bit better. So we'll put it back in the starting position for now. You can open them however you want. So we're going to go as if it falling apart like that. So here we go. From here, you've got these locks on the top. Basically, you pull this out and there's a little symbol with a lock sign and unlocked. Pull it until you hear a click. These ones are already done though. So what we'll do, pull it out. And you'll hear it pop. So that's now locked. So to get to the next position, we unlock them again until you hear the click. And there we go. We're going to do the same again to the other side. So at first it will already be unlocked. So we get to a certain position, which is there. And then we go again. And that's step ladder right there okay as you saw it didn't take long nice and easy so next one we'll do is we'll turn it into the full ladder so again we unlock at the top now it's locked one two then going up so now you have your full size ladder okay Next, we'll do the platform and then I'll attach the platforms itself. So from here, we're gonna lie it down. We'll do one side at a time, obviously. So we're pulling them up until you hear them unlock. And then you bend until it gets into, into position, sorry, and then you go back on yourself. Now that's locked. Same again on the other side. There we go, that's your work platform. As you can see, it's nice and wide. And we'll put the uh, platform pieces on as well. point out is obviously you've got your hooks that need to go over and these will overlap onto each other as well then we have this extra feature I'm sure you can see that very well basically when it's in you just push that through to make sure it doesn't move your work platform fully intact. I'll stand on it now just to show you the strength, show that it's locked in place. Obviously give it a push down, make sure it's secure. There you go. So I hope this video has been helpful. Any questions, pop them in the comments and I will get back to you. Overall, I think it's a great ladder. It's already come in use so many times, especially the different functions. There is one more function to be fair, which is basically you'd extend one side fully and leave one bent. And then that's like a bit of a platform away from the wall if you don't want to be quite against the wall itself. Other than that, like I said, any questions, please just get in touch and I will get back to you. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.